Hello everyone. How's everybody today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, today uh, we have started a new map. Uh, Shellbrook Creek. It is a Canadian map. Uh, and we are sure going to give it a go. It is a 4X map. And to be honest about it, it is really a pretty map. Very nice. Uh, the differences uh, is the trees. Uh, as I've told you before, yes, I, I love trees. Uh, I'm just not crazy about them being in and around in my field area. Uh, that's uh, just a hindrance to me. Yes, I know that sometimes fields have trees in them. Uh, but I believe that it's the farmer uh, his obligation that if he doesn't like the tree in the field then to remove it uh, and it just makes good sense especially when you're operating big equipment big machinery and stuff in the fields but uh, so far I've not seen any problems with uh, the field so far Oh, we may have to remove a tree or two. Uh, I'm not saying that. But uh, for the most part, everything looks like it's in the open. Uh, the farm that you're looking at right there is where we start uh, whenever you get onto the map. Uh, however, uh, that's not going to be our home place. Our home place is up the road a little ways, and we have a beautiful home. Uh, very, very nice. So, and I will show that to you uh, before I end this video. But anyway, uh, we started with this field. And if we look over uh, across the way here, uh, we started with that field and uh, this field needed lime and it needs fertilizer and it is in the plowed state uh, so it probably has not they probably did not uh, mulch this field before they plowed it so that means we'll take a hit right off the bat on our uh, yield bonus but that's okay you know I'm in a good mood today <laughs> uh, anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy come uh, keep on liming and uh, I'll get back with you here in a few minutes all right, this guy is getting across the field with this lime. And I see right now that this dog ain't going to hunt. Uh, if I pull up the HUD, and if you can see my mouse cursor, this is the field that we are in. There's trees all in here. All in here. Uh, and the same way over here on this field, there are trees. So, you know what the dirt road farmer says about that. We're going to have to do something about that. So, <clears throat> we will. Uh, 
I've got to square this field up a little bit better than, than what it is. See there trees out in the middle of the field over there? No, I can't. No, no, no. I can't deal with that. So, that's what it's all about is forming it and making it your own. So, that's what we're going to be doing. And, uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe this time plant in this field, we'll leave it like this. Uh, and then I'll work on them trees uh, while the crop is growing. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep spreading this lime and... Uh, and see what takes place. All right, well, uh, I did try to square this field up a little bit. However, did you see those trees just disappear? Yeah, they're non-existent. Uh, I took them out, ground the stumps, uh, and they still reappear. Uh, so I, I don't know, you know, it's a new map and, uh, and there'll be updates on it, of course. Uh, we've got, see the trees over there? There's three of them. Well, they're non-existent. I cut them and ground the stumps out. And whenever you get close to them, they disappear. So, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll deal with that. Uh, I think this map was just released yesterday, maybe, or the day before yesterday. So, yes, there's a lot of work to be done on it. A lot of work. And, uh, but overall, it is performing great. Uh have absolutely no complaints other than the reappearing trees that that need to be gone uh, there was a lot of trees in there I cut them all trying to square this field up and uh, yeah just uh, uh, like I said they'll get to it they'll be fine uh, I'm just not used to the odd shaped fields. Uh, they don't make a lot of sense to me. Why somebody, you know, in real life, if you had this farm and you were making this field, why would you do what's right across from this tractor? Why would you do that? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, wouldn't wouldn't you square that off? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, there may be reasons why not. Uh, uh, maybe you don't own the land. Maybe the guy that owns the land next to you, he, he says, yeah, you ain't getting this land. So, <laughs> uh, anything is possible, you know. I understand that. But, uh, yes, uh, this is a halfway decent field, and uh, I think we're going to get it limed to this evening, and uh, I may try to reset it and see if those trees will go away before I uh, go any farther with the uh, fertilizing, but we'll do what we can, and... Uh, and we'll deal with the rest. All right, well, we finished uh, liming that field and uh, I think we'll, we'll wait on fertilizing it. Uh, for right now, we'll go back to our home place 
and uh, I'll show you the sheds and and the house and everything there. Uh, very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, like I said, they they do have some bugs that need to be worked out now. The best that I can tell, and I could be wrong, but the best that I can tell is you cannot buy the land uh, that these trees are on. Now that's that's what I'm I'm thinking. Uh, <clears throat> I tried. It's not even for sale. I mean, you can't buy them. Because I thought, <coughs> excuse me, I thought that that was, could have been some of my problem uh, on the trees. Uh, but let me pull up the HUD and I'll show you. Well, we have to wait for it to... All right, if you see my mouse cursor, all of this is trees, okay? Now, if you come down here like you want to buy it, it tells you what you own, but you cannot buy that piece of ground. You can't buy them where the trees are at. Uh, you can't do it and I'm not understanding that uh, and I know I don't like it because uh, these odd shaped fields like this right here uh, let's, yeah this right here where my mouse curse this is all trees and you got this jagged field. Why? Why do you want to do that? Uh, now, I do understand uh, that this map is based on a real location uh, and very possible. Uh, maybe that's government ground and it's not for sale. Therefore, it's not for sale on this map. I that I I can't answer that. I really don't know. Uh, but when it comes to the map, it's pretty inconvenient because you can't you can't buy it. And as far as straightening out some of these fields and stuff, yeah just not happening so you know you take like this field right here field number 16 uh, you know what's going to end up happening with that all of this part of the field is going to get turned to grass and that field is going to get cut off right straight across what a waste what a waste uh, so anyway uh, that's just my own personal opinion but let's go over and look at the the house and the garage this is our garage uh, very nice and this is what you start with now you, you well I shouldn't say you start with it. you have to come and buy it it's sitting here but you have to buy the property that it's on. And this is our house. Very, very nice. Very nice. You got a gas stove, coffee pot, microwave. And you also got an old wood cook stove, which I thought was fantastic. A wood cook stove. I love it. All right. And then we can go upstairs. 
and here's your sleep trigger where you can sleep and you can go into the bathroom and in here you can get changed if you want to you can change clothes so I thought that was a pretty nice touch uh, very nice indeed so uh, I'm sure that they're going to get something done uh, surely I can't I can't believe that you're not going to be able to buy them trees and buy that land that them trees is on uh, but I'm sure they're not done yet there's things that they need to fix and uh, and they will uh, this is uh, one of the big sheds uh, this is also very nice well finished on the inside isn't it nice uh, of course you've got an office oh yeah very nice and you can go over here and and uh, you've got another I just didn't I was too lazy to open that door but if you go over here uh, you've got a workshop where you can do repairs and stuff on your your vehicles so I thought it was very nice uh, a real nice map uh, I think there's some bugs that need to be worked out of it uh, and I do believe that they will they'll get them worked out but uh, as for me the dirt road farmer I sure appreciate you being here I appreciate you watching I thank everybody for the likes that I get I, I really appreciate all of them I really appreciate all of my subscribers but as for me the dirt road farmer I think we'll call this a video until tomorrow and as always Thank you for watching.